Hey everyone, so I know I have not done um, good videos um, or reviews at all, but I'm going to make this a short one because it is the Lava Fall set and is the set. Um, one of the smallest ones that are coming out for the Ninjago 2015 wave. And I'm going to try keeping this as still as I can because my last two reviews I saw them and they were pretty shaky. So I'm sorry about that if you were actually like hoping to see my reviews there, but. Um, Sorry but that they were shaky. I'm going to try holding this as still as I can. I don't know if it was my camera last time. I don't think it is. I think it's all my, it was all my fault there. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good at these reviews. So, um, so sorry about that. But all right. So I'm going to try keeping this as still as I can, as I said before there. Okay, so two figures in the set. It's only Cole and um, Slevin. Slevin is, is in a lot of sets, by the way. 2015 sets. Um, okay, you can see Cole. This is the Tournament of Elements um, robe, by the way, because the the suit, the other suit with the mask and all that, that's sort of like the the suit that they have for him for later on. It's sort of like the Anaconda sort of suit, you know, like where he they're they're actually fighting Chen and his Anaconda and all that. It's more based off that part of the season instead of the tournament season. Or the, this is all the same season, but the tournament part of it is with these suits here. So I mean, these parts are based off for the tournament of elements, not like the the end of the season with the Anaconda or anything. Just the tournament of elements. So see there, Cole's um, Earth symbol there. It's on the back, and they kind of fit their symbols in um, their their suits as much as they can. It seems like. And now these suits, again, as I've said maybe in other videos, that um, it's sort of like rebooted. They have the um, the single mask piece there, and then they have their hair piece. So then it, it's like it's like rebooted, but the arms are yellow this time. So it's like they don't have any sleeves for this. So that these suits don't have any sleeves, but apparently they still have gloves. Um, but I mean, it's a simple one. It's got some symbols there on the suit, and again, you get the hair pieces. You get, like in rebooted, you do get two mask pieces, so that's nice to always get. You can make like other figures, or if you if you lose a, again, if you lose the mask, you can have that. But yeah, the I kind of like the other suits better, but I mean, these suits are just as cool. But that that's cool. And now I'm gonna go to Slevin. I don't. I don't think I have their weapons with them right now. Cole just had a staff, and Slevin had a sword. They weren't. They weren't that um, much. But here's Slevin. Now Slevin is is in quite a few sets. Um, I got the Dojo Showdown, this set, Electromech, and the Boulder Blaster, and I think he's in the Dojo Showdown, this one, and I think he's in the. Um, Boulder Blaster. Um, he's in a lot of sets. Uh, I think those are the three sets he might be in only. I don't know yet. But um, Slevin is a lot is a common minifigure, so it's not hard to get him at all. But he is a very, very cool looking minifigure. He's, he's the one with the white printing there on his face. So the Anaconda, or if you've seen the season episodes, um, some Anaconda form an Anaconda with these white tattoo print on them. So that's what that is from so that the white there on his face is part of his tattoos and he's got the normal tat um, anaconda printing there for the tattoos it's kinda like what we see on crate along with the legs I mean he's not there's nothing much to him compared to some of the other um, anaconda warriors but now kapow and chop of course they're a little different because they're kinda like the two um, characters that they kind of focus on in the show but again you got this piece here you know it's the one you get with all of your anaconda warriors well I don't know if we should really be calling them anaconda warriors just yet because they're still human until Chen gets them turned into anaconda so those are the minifigures and I'm gonna try keeping this as still as I can here because I did not do well on that last reviews so again, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to take the figures off here for a moment. Now, there is one thing I don't like is like the with the bridge here. They didn't make it so the figure could actually stand on it or at least 
be able to stand on it for like really loosely so then they could stay on while you want them on the bridge so I mean that's something they didn't do but it's a simple simple little build it only took me a few minutes to build when I got it and it, it's it's really I honestly think it's one of my favorite sets of the whole um, the whole wave because it's so simple but it, it just it's got quite a bit of detail it's got the orange red pieces here and it's kind of got some like pieces up here like for like rocks connecting with the for the bridge you know like two sides of the rocks you get's got these little stairs here so if you grab like coal you could just have them hop up on the stairs or you can grab slevin and have that happen as well but it's a little nice detail there and you also got two of these big transparent flame pieces so you know it's those are pretty cool those those are nice um, the box is pretty small that this um, big long orange piece you see on the bottom there the longest one there was actually not in the bags but there was that was probably the biggest piece of the set like longest piece at least but they, they fit it in there pretty good in the box but there I like the orange pieces on the bottom and obviously signifying lava and I also like this little build right here at the top with the um, jade blade and I'm trying to focus it but with this part right here I'm, I like it because it just it's a cool little detail there and you got like a little skeleton leg here holding the jade blade so that's the jade blade that Cole is trying to get to and the jade blades never looked like that in the show they were um, just a single blade like nothing with this just a blade right there and they would obtain it to move on in the tournament but the sets don't always perfectly focus on the sets or the sets don't perfectly focus on the show so I mean they they, they of course do but they don't do it perfectly I mean they, sometimes the sets just kinda wanna go they do their own thing with the sets and I, again I like this little detail here that was put right here because it's just a cool little part right here. This is kind of to kind of have a little back to the um the whole part there. And then you also got like these round pieces here. Just kind of make it look more like a detailed kind of lava area. And yeah, so you just got little pieces to build up a little area here to hold the bridge. Now the main function part of this is the bridge. So you see this little function here. All you would do is pull it back and the bridge falls down and whoever's on the bridge would fall into the lava. So that is basically the bit, the only function here. Um, so I'm going to grab Slevin. All you would do is like set him on there because you can't really attach him like I said in the beginning of the video. But then you would just drop them in and if you're playing on the set they would be apparently falling into the lava so then the, you would have fallen in or coal would have fallen in if you're playing as the, um, the bad guy or you can have coal get the J blade while Slevin falls in so you can do many things it's just it's a cool little build and it's got quite a bit of details in it and it's I think it's eight dollars eight or nine dollars it's really worth it I recommend it of course I'm um, sure lots of people will be getting this and the jungle trap because it um, they're really small and cheap and they have great figures and they have great details in these. Now, hopefully this video was nice and um, stable for you guys. I know my last reviews weren't as stable at all. It was kind of shaking all over the place, so I'm sorry about that. Now I know pe lots of people have done reviews on like the small sets, like the jungle trap and this, but. I mean, this is my review on it, so if you are still here watching this, but but yeah, the Jungle Trap is a very very cool small set, and I really really recommend it because I, it just the details with the colors and with the lot. I find it a very very interesting set and a very cool set. Now I don't have the jung I don't have the Jungle Trap, but that the Jungle Trap does not seem as detailed as this one. This one just it just seems like it's got more detail. I'll probably get the jungle trap too, but this this is a good set. And 
as I said before, it's probably really one of my favorite sets of the Wave. And I know it's a really small one, but it's one of my favorite because it is really detailed for a small set. So I really like it. Um, leave in the comments what you think about it because I, I think it's a good set. So, but yeah, there's my review on the Ninjago Jungle Trap. Um, I, I think it's I think it's like 90, 90 something pieces in it. So it is one of the small sets. I think the Jungle Trap is um, seven dollars. But yeah, so there's my review on the Ninjago Jungle Trap for the 2015 wave. Um, I might do a review on the Dojo Showdown eventually. I don't know yet, but yeah, yeah there's my review on the Jungle. Tr no, there's my review on the Lava Falls for. Um, have I been saying Jungle Trap? No, there's my review on Lava Falls of the Ninjago 2015 wave.